Knowing what a Jelly Belly is can really help your sourcing game. Today, that's what we are talking about. Hey, it's Don, the Auction Professor. Today, we're going to talk about some costume jewelry, specifically Jelly Belly pins and jewelry in general. So without further ado, let's hop over right now and show you what Jelly Bellies are and how much they can go for. So let's start with what a Jelly Belly basically is. Now, I relate this to the phrase belly of the beast. Most Jelly Bellies are animals. Not all of them. I've seen people and all kinds of other things, including objects that were Jelly Bellies. The belly, the belly of the beast, or the belly of the item, the belly of the animal, so to speak, is made of a piece of lucite, maybe a crystal, or something along that line. As you can see, you can see right through it. It kind of looks translucent like jelly would be, and belly, hence the fact that it's usually the center point of an animal, a creature, a fish in this example right here. This is an angelfish clip. They don't all have to be pins. They can come in many different things. You can find a chain, a pendant with a jelly belly in the middle, earrings, whether they be traditional pierced earrings or clip-on earrings, pins, brooches, cape pins, all of that sort of thing can be found with a jelly belly. One of the most distinguishing factors is if you turn it over, the belly is still present. It's not covered up by anything. You can see through it. The whole center of the belly is one solid piece, usually, of some type of stone or lucite or something something along that line. This is one by Trafari. This would have the Crown Trafari logo on it. This one's a designer piece as well, Alfred Philippe. This is just a fine example. Now, I've seen this one with a different color of stone or different color of belly in the center also. This one's sterling. These will all be marked in some way, shape, or form also. This is one piece that you will find listed in almost any one of the books on costume jewelry. This is a key one. It's sold for 475 bucks. If that gives you an idea on the price on some of these. And just like any other category, the top 5% or so is what sells in this range. The rest of them just don't hold as much of a value. Jelly Bellies, though, in general do sell, and they have a high sell-through rate also. Here's another one by Philippe as well, another Trafari piece, sterling silver, lucite, as I said. The body itself is made of the jelly, the jelly belly again. This one has been repaired and it still went for $425. Some of these are so rare that in almost any condition, they still will have a following and they will still sell for decent money. Most of them, as I said, are animals. These are found anywhere you're going to find jewelry. I do find these quite regularly. Not obviously the high dollar ones like this all the time, but I do find some of these high priced ones occasionally also. So it is an area that can make you a lot of money. Even a cheaper version of this could still sell for 30 or 40 bucks, which isn't too shabby for something that I usually spend a dollar or two on at the very most per pin or per item like this. If I buy them in bulk, I spend even less on them. Here's another fabulous one by Philippe as well. This is a poodle. This one again is one that's pictured in a book. Probably not the specific pin, but the same exact basic model of this pin. You can see through it as well. You can see the pin. It reflects off. It literally looks like a jelly belly of the animal. Very attractive, obviously from the early 30s, 40s, or 50s era, somewhere in that time frame. They made jelly bellies for quite some time, 30, 40, 50, 60 even years. They created jelly belly pins. Not just Trafari, but many other companies have the same thing. And this one went for $416.80. Nine cents, 41 bids. So there's some hot bidding on these sorts of items as well. Now this one I do like. This is a 1943 Philippe Trafari Sterling Magenta. The colored stones usually always go for some decent money. The majority of the jelly bellies you find are going to be a white or clear color, basically. So this one's quite attractive. This basically same design comes with different colored stones in it. So you could run into an emerald or a clear one as well, signed the same way. Nice one here, basically, for $450. 
Now, Coral Craft is another name that I look for and have for many, many years. They've got some fabulous Christmas tree pins also. The bugs are always on my list. The bugs do extremely well. Solid belly of jelly as well. Probably Lucite. Has rhinestones on it as well. So this is like a double one. Insects always go very well for us. Any of these insect pins, spiders or anything like that. $460. Now here's a Shriner of New York. Another name, another brand. This is an Art Deco-ish parrot with a belly. Now it may be hard for you to see the parrot, but he's looking to the one direction. And you can kind of see the beak and his feathers on the face. $514. This one is a solid stone as well, but this one is opaque. You cannot see through it. Difference on that one here. Some people in the past I've heard say this isn't technically a jelly belly, but the jelly, the, the stone itself or the piece is the center of this. So it's basically the same thing at $514. Here's another Trafari, same maker, same designer in the whole works. This is a stork or a heron. It's $680. These can go up well over $1,000 depending on what the item is made out of. Most of the sterling ones will go for some good money, especially if they're crown trafari from the 30s, 40s, and 50s era like this one here. Now here's another Trafari. Now this is like a transitional era when they were patent pending. And you will see it marked Pat Pen for patent pending on it. This always reminded me of Gary from Spongebob, which was a very popular character in our house here, honestly. This one's pretty cute. Very nice one. Very scarce. I have never seen one other than in a book. This is probably the first one of these I've ever seen for sale. It tells by the price $790. Really nice one here. Lucite as well. This is from the Fairyland series of Trafari. Very nice example here. Now here's a very, very rare one. This is an hourglass with the center again being a jelly belly. Signed Trafari as well, probably 1940s-ish. Stones, the whole works on it. Nice lot of rhinestones on this. Sterling silver marked. Most all of the Trafari pieces, you will find the word Trafari marked on the back. If it has a crown over the T, that would be crown Trafari, which are earlier pieces in the line. Just over $2,000. This one would be one of those museum quality pieces that just doesn't show up. It's an odd thing. Not many of these were probably made. Scarcity runs the roost when it comes to pins like this. Hence the price. Now here's an interesting one with another opaque turquoise stone in the center. It has a ruby for the eye. It's a little birdie, tweety bird. Again, it is a jelly belly as well. It has the center being a belly. This one's 14 karat gold marked $425. The material the pin was made from doesn't necessarily mean it's going to be worth more money. This is solid gold. It's worth less than some of the other ones that were sterling or otherwise. So just a nice example either way. Another Trafari. This is a beetle or a bug of some sorts. The belly again is a blue lucite or a blue stone of some sort. And it also has blue rhinestones on it. $385. 10 bids. Just a very nice example. Again, I love the bugs. The wife has many in her own personal collection. Very fine example of this. Let's show you the back for a second there. As you can see, you can see right through the stone. Jelly belly, hence the name. Another Trafari. This is a sailfish. Rather cute, interesting example of one. It's kind of stylized in the Art Deco style. It's $355 for this one. Sterling silver, as I said. Very fine example. Now here's a Joe Lee. This is another brand that made these sorts of things as well. This is an Apple. It's an earlier one, probably 40s, late 40s, early 50s, $262. Sterling silver as well. This will be marked. You'll find many pins marked with Joe Lee. And the last one is another fish with a topaz style colored stone that has facets on it. It doesn't necessarily have to be rounded to still be called a jelly belly. As long as the belly segment, the main mid section of the item is made of a translucent stone or a stone in general from both sides of the pin, it can technically be called a jelly belly in most people's minds. This is a nice example of this variety with faceted stones and many, many more rhinestones on it. This is probably 30s or 40s. This does appear to be an earlier one. Sterling silver as well, as I said, $248. But that's what I have for you today. Well, there you are. Hopefully that gave you some ideas and some thoughts. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button down below. You can also hit the bell icon to be notified if I post new content or go live. Subscribe and tell all your friends.
Sometimes you feel like a nut, sometimes you don't. Almond Joy's got nuts, mounds don't. Almond Joy's got real milk chocolate, coconut and munchy nuts too. Mounds got deep dark chocolate and chewy coconut. Sometimes you feel like a nut, sometimes you don't. Peter Paul, Almond Joy's got nuts, Peter Paul, mounds don't. Because sometimes you feel like a nut, sometimes you don't.